One of the most important features of any software is how updates are handled. In Ubuntu, this is done by the software updater. Although system updates will be checked automatically and will notify you when available, you can also configure how this is done or check updates manually. You can see if your system is up to date clicking on the button at the top right hand corner and then on about this computer. You will see at the bottom a button that says system up to date or install updates if there are any updates available. To configure the way updates are handled you can navigate to the system settings and then click on software and updates. Choose the updates tab if you're not already on it and choose how often and what software you want to update. The options by default should be fine but if you don't want to be bothered by update dialogues very often, set the security updates to be downloaded and installed automatically and display other updates every two weeks. At the very bottom of this window you can also choose if you want to install every Ubuntu release or only long-term support. If you choose any new version, your system will be updated every six months to the latest release of Ubuntu. This happens on April and October every year. The long-term support versions, however, are updated only every two years on April of even years. Ubuntu 14.04, for example, is an LTS release. They are usually more stable and tested, but might not have always the latest cutting-edge software. If you remember well, we have already talked about the software and updates window on the first tutorial. It is in this window, on the Ubuntu Software tab, that you can select if restricted or proprietary software should be downloaded and updated as well. Once you have made your settings, you can forget about the Update Manager. Just expect it to appear every once in a while, asking your permission to install updates. On the next video, we will see how to monitor your disk usage and health.